Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on installing WordPress. Before you actually do install WordPress there's a couple of things you need to do. Um, the reason for that is that WordPress is very very popular. Um, it's around, reckon that around about one in every six new websites are using WordPress. In turn that means it attracts hackers. If you remember back a year or two ago Apple were claiming that the, the, the Mac never got hacked. Well the reason for that was that it wasn't big enough in the market share and as soon as they started increasing the market share hackers and virus writers and spammers and all sorts of things found it worth writing stuff for Apple whereas before it wasn't worth the effort. Same goes for WordPress. Because it's popular it just attracts people and because there's so many sites the law of averages says that they can get into at least some of them especially if you're careless. So a couple of things that you can do to basically reduce that very well dramatically. Um, first is don't use admin as your username. Um, chances are whatever installation thing you do it may well prompt you and say admin because you're an administrator it makes sense but because it's the default, it probably means that, well, I guess 80 or 90% of WordPress sites use it. My, some of my early ones do, but I've learned since. Um, and it just re dramatically reduces the chances, because what will happen is the hacker will try admin, it will try a few simple passwords, and then they'll go on. There's also other things which we'll show in the next one of the next tutorials on the plugins that you can do to extra get extra help. but help yourself by don't use admin, just don't use your actual name either, use something that you'll remember or that your browser will remember and don't make it related to the site either because again that's easy to guess so just so it could be your pet's name anything like that. And the other thing to do is use a secure password now again some programs will give you a some of the installation routines will give you a password suggestion but what I do is go across to a site that generates a secure password, secure password generator. I'll give you the URL for this in a PDF that goes with this course. A uh, couple of things I do. Password length defaults to 8, I go for 12. 12 seems to be very very strong and the other thing is it doesn't normally include punctuation so I tick the box. Just to show you the kind of ones I'm going to select that down to 5 and it'll generate passwords for you and you can see there that they're pretty unguessable it'll be a mixture of upper and lower case all sorts of things in there punctuation weird characters well at signs often crop up equal signs exclamation marks crop up dollars equals dashes all sorts of things that what they do is they make it a lot more difficult to hack the password. You'll need to save it somewhere because you won't be able to get it back from anywhere else. All you'll be able to do is reset it. So that's what I do before I before I do any WordPress installation, I choose a username that isn't admin and I go to random pass secure password generator and generate a free password to use. I'll normally go with the first one because well they're pretty random as you can see from that and what that means is they're difficult to crack. All you'll do is just tick the box that says remember me and let your browser save the settings so you don't have to remember n7 sw dollar equals u y equals phu fortunately because you never would. Okay and the next video will show you how to actually install using well you choose the one that there's two popular um, installation routine, the Fantastico and the Softaculus, and I'll show you in a separate video how each of those work. They're both easy, they're both similar, but that's the next stage. Okay, see you in the next video.